Hey folks, Quillating here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. Again, this is the pre-release version of the game, and obviously by watching this, you're going to be subjected to some spoilers, and uh, also the fact that my voice is still pretty well, rusty. Of course. So we're going to try to minimize how much I talk, and whisper a little more like this. Let's go talk to Tenforth. Ah, it's you, my savior. It's so good to be back. Do not think I will let this go unrewarded. I've decided that you have earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets, my dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. A savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your travels. That I literally, I learned an actual new recipe called savory pie. Also, I've gained reputation. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of that stuff. So if we look at our um, our reputation here, party reputation, we are an ally, faintly good, that's nice. I have no reputation yet, um, no personal reputation yet, but we do have the party thing. Also, um, I think the, the personal reputation would be the dispositions, we just haven't really developed anything there yet. Um, yeah, but if we go and take a look at oops, our inventory page and go to crafting and food, we do actually have learned a, a recipe for savory pie, which gives us a bonus to endurance, might, and perception. Very nice. We're going to need some grain, meat, and some beer for that sort of thing, but we'll have to keep that sort of thing in mind. I'm really bad about never using consumables and just, like, stockpile them forever and ever and ever. Like, we made some potions. We can make some more potions. We're just not getting around to it. Ah, there we go. Ah. Okay. Wizard's double. Plus 20 deflection until damaged. Plus 20 deflection until damaged for 60 seconds. I don't understand. Mirrored image sounds worse than wizard's double. Unless this is a really short duration, like 10 seconds or something like that, but it doesn't say. I don't understand the difference between these two. They're both spells we can cast. I guess we'll have to, like, test them at some point, but something is weird. Potion of power. Ooh, that's very nice. Yes. Okay, um, looks like we can loot here. Now, one thing that I did learn in my last Let's Play, which I didn't realize right away, when you mouse over something and your cursor is red, that would, that means that taking this would be stealing. So, what we can do As you wish. is try to go into stealth Steady mode. Does it. And we're not currently yeah. getting spotted, actually. Uh, I can't see everyone because we're sort of behind here. Well, but yeah, actually, we're not being spotted right now, which means I can actually go and loot all the stuff if mm -hmm. I'm willing to do it. Yes. Maybe we'll not use the paladin to do it. Not that it really makes a difference one way or another. But in theory, oops. Yeah, I don't think we're being spotted. I should be able to loot the ale and the beer. Um, let me make sure that I properly understand this. I'm going to hit the quick save button just to make sure I haven't misunderstood something. Right now, I don't think we're spotted. Otherwise, everything would be red. So I what should be it? able to loot this. There we go. Yes. And no one knows. We'll break out of stealth at this point. But a very important mechanic. Now, whether stealing is a good idea or not, I don't know. But, you know, it's an adventure game. It's an RPG. Of course, we're going to steal everything that's not uh, nailed down. Brown slop congealing these dishes. It smells burnt. Probably left over from before the... Um, the cook came back. This is not in red, so it's not stealing to take it. Beer and grain. I don't know why it's not stealing, but I'm not going to complain about it. We've got a table that we can grab some stuff there. I guess some people have just left some things lying around. Unclaimed. we got a potion of wizard's double. Alright. I should probably um, put it in a quick slot somewhere. That beer that we can drink and get some damage reduction, which is actually pretty good. Uh, Wizard's Double. Of course, we also need the recipes. This is two damage reduction from Ale. Let's go ahead and put that there. Um, I can... Whoa. Where'd it go? I, I was holding shift. Oh. Oh, okay. Apparently when you shift click on something, it puts it in the stash. But what I really want to do is move a partial stack. Can I control click? Right click? Alt click? How do I split a stack? There must be a way to do it. Ah! Double click on it. There we are. So I'm going to put one of these. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll give it to her. She doesn't have any items kicking around. These are some healing items. Oh, I've got some more wizards double. I want to put the potion of minor endurance. 
Oh, can't drop it. Oh, can't drop it on the portrait. Do one of those. There we are. Okay. Well, let me change the order of the party as well. We're gonna make sure to have our kinky me. person sure. up front. And let's go and click on one of these people. So we get our full creepy vision, and then we've got the choice. You feel a vibrant history containing the essence of this woman's soul. Voices from its past seem to call out to you. Reach out for the soul. And then we got a bunch of flavor text, which I unfortunately cannot read at this point. So if you want to pause and read this, that's going to be fine, but I can't read all this stuff out loud. And in the interest of time, I'm just sort of going to skip through this stuff. So you get, a, you get a glimpse of some, you know, is it their life earlier? Is it a previous life? I don't know what it is. But we get some text and backstory. Huh? As far as I know, we don't get any experience points from doing anything like that. Um, and I haven't seen anything trigger uh, a story advancement from sure. one of those yet. But it could still happen. Let's go upstairs and see what's there. Maybe some more stuff to steal. Some Krausers. We ought to get ourselves red. Ooh, a soul reader. Someone who can tell us where our souls got to before they came to us here now. Well, maybe that's what I'm doing. I figure it's like any handsome lad in the pub. Hmm. Ah, I see. Took me a second to process that. So we can read souls, I guess, before people, before the souls got to this person. There's some more. Warrior. Fighting. Ooh, no, he's a psychic. Ah. Slump to the ground. Oh, that's interesting. A cipher, I suppose. Chains. Boil eyes on the ground. Holes are still black like holes. Ooh. All right. And again, you're free to pause the video and read this stuff. Mm. Woman is sniffing. Fire. Ooh, her house burned down. That's mm -hmm. a shame. Okay, let's go and right. check out this room. It looks empty, and nothing is red, so we can loot all this stuff. We've got a book, just a history book. Again, I'm not going to be able to read this out loud. My voice just uh, is not there, but some extra lockpicks, which is handy. And speaking of things that might lead some lockpicking, there we go. Open that up. Got a little bit of XP for it. We got a rapier, a padded armor. Ooh, and a hat. Hold on. I need the hat. Uh, on this character, mm, I don't think this hat f would fit necessarily. What about my paladin? I don't know, maybe. Sort of a three musketeer kind of thing. Let's go ahead and equip this. That that can potentially work. Let's try it on ourselves. I don't think, you know, it's a good fit for our druid. No, not at all. Uh, you actually have a hood on. Maybe we could swap. Nope. I actually quite like it on the paladin for whatever reason. Hmm. We won't have to wear it. Right. It gives us no stats whatsoever. <laughs> uh, so that's everything in this room. Let's check this room. Uh, see, this is red. Well, this is red. This one is not. So we can loot whatever's here. It's another book. So we can sell these books for money. So it seems very unlikely that we'll be able to go and rob this with someone watching. So let's not do that. And I don't want to get in trouble. So I'm pretty sure... Ooh, what do you have here? Oh, there's the hound. His bones are covered in tiny bite, bite marks. Oh, look at this. Hound stares intently at the covered window, head cocked as if waiting to hear a particular sound. Looks up when you approach and whines a low note, tail wagging slightly. Hmm. I don't think he's coming back. I could use a good dog. Dog's ears perk up, perk, perk up trots over to you, and barks happily. Where's the dog? Oh my god! Black hound. Small dog has a glossy black coat and an affable disposition. She trots along at your heels, gazing up devotedly whenever you come to a stop. I just have a dog in my inventory now? Can I, like... Oh! There's a pet slot! What?! Are you kidding me?! Hmm? Mm-hmm. Is it really gonna follow me? Oh my god! It's not targetable. I'm hoping that it can't be killed in combat or anything like that. 
So we just have a pet that follows us. Can I rename it? I didn't see anything that let me do that. I bet you there's combat pets too. This one may or may not be a combat pet. It better not be able to die. I'll be very, very upset if the hound can be killed. Holy crap, I have a pet. I'm actually super happy right now. I didn't I didn't see this last time. See, we're really getting to some new stuff. And or I'm being more thorough here. Sure. Who are you? I'm just a random villager. Having a smoke. Alright, fair enough. Okay, so let's check the journal. Find the dwarf woman, okay. Escape the ruins. We've done that though. Oh, it's grayed out, because I've I've finished these, I see. So right now it's find the dwarf woman. Well, we'll take a look for that. I guess that means back towards the town center. Let's check that tree again. Ooh. Or and or loot all the things that we see. Maybe we'll do a full pass over the town. Oh, the other thing that's worth doing, actually, and I should have done it over the west, is because of the way the Infinity Engine works, is we'll just click on this, and it might open up some other options. Let's go the um, western route as well. Just click on it and see what it uh, presents. We shouldn't have to do that everywhere. This should be the south as well, but you sort of do do north, east, south, west, and sometimes it'll lock more things. You must gather your party before venturing forth. How's my party not gathered? There we go. Uh, no, nothing else over there. All right, now let's go through this town center, check the tree again, see if we can interact with that um, that dwarf. They did hang the dwarf, didn't they? Ooh, all right, there we go. Caldara de Baranzi. And it's all purpley swirly, which is sort of our, our soul vision mode, right? We keep getting that purple whenever we go into soul vision. The squat, distended body of an elderly dwarf woman dangles from a thin, crooked bow that sags at the tongue of her tug of her noose. The bloated purple flesh of her neck, worn away in patches like moth-eaten linen, bulges over the rope that suspends her, and her lifeless head lolls forward rigidly from one side to the other when the breeze shifts. You perceive a faint glow around her that casts no light on its surrounding, but there is a tepid warmth to it, and you feel somehow that you could reach out and touch it, not with your hands, but with some aspect of yourself that has no worldly dimensions. Yes, let's reach out and touch the reach out for the woman. Full on soul vision. All right, take a deep breath. So this is what I've been doing with the other people, but I guess maybe I was poking at people's souls a little too early. Take a deep breath, clearing your mind, focusing on your objective. As you exhale, you feel yourself spreading out toward the hanging woman, perceiving all that lies between you and her with new, unfamiliar awareness. Once you have expanded enough to reach her, there is a sudden jolt to your mind, a ringing, electric surge of images and words and sounds. Involuntarily, you shut your eyes and feel yourself being pulled down to some deeper consciousness in a space occupied only by you and the hanging woman. And when you open them again, she is staring at you with eyes clouded in a milky fog. Her body still swaying in a wind you no longer feel from a tree that stands planted in the misty void. The woman gives you a slow nod of her head, the rope creaking as she does so, and she smiles at you. Have you come here for me, dear? Ooh. Or have you gotten lost? Ah, uh, it is both, I think. Yes? How are you able to speak with me? Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I need to understand I something that's happened to me. I think it is a very good choice. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there? Yeah, we've been seeing objects and all kinds of things. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and a watcher you will stay. What's a watcher? What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, though. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair, and here we are visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Souls pass on, some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. 
they leave the world for a time and are reborn into it. Sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on. And those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. So if souls are supposed to pass maybe through the Audra stones and then, you know, come back later on, is that why we're getting the um, the Hollowborn over here? Maybe the souls are not coming back out. Maybe something's happening to the Audra. Clearly, Audra is going to be very, very important to this storyline. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their owner can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder. What do you mean when all goes well? Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. Hmm. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you. Helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadnua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. Now, I have to tell you that this uh, preview, this pre-release preview that I can do, I can only let's play it up to the point where we meet Merwald, because obviously big plot things will happen if, uh, you know, this is where the sort of main story is leading me and if he's another watcher. So just a heads up that that will be the stopping point of this pre-release let's play, assuming I, you know, get it all done before the actual release date. Um, and we might continue it afterwards, after release. We'll see how we go, see what people want to do. So I think I survived a Buick. Do you know why that would be? Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Or maybe it got its hands around your soul but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Cold, I mean. Cold them. Those days are all behind me, no? Yeah, I want to know about the souls breaking apart over time. You know, usually coming back lesser. Oh, yes. Entropy. Rimagan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We try to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. Not. That's actually pretty dark, because it means eventually humanity will just fade away completely as the souls, you know, don't keep... You know, they, they eventually all wear out. And I wonder if these hollowborn are people with souls that are just worn out too much, or if they're literally not getting a soul at all. A very small few resist Rimargan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. I want to know something about her. Me? <laughs> I'll bore you to tears, though. Actually, what's an animancer? That's a great question. A student of the soul. Something so basic, yet so poorly understood. But so many breakthroughs have been made in my lifetime. Had been made. Had been. To hear the locals tell it, we're a gang of soul manglers that preys upon the weak-minded. And the worst of us are. But the best of us? The best? Inspirations. Miracle workers. My parents were soul twins. Miserable before they met, empty inside. It was an animancer who helped one find the other, turn their lives around. You wouldn't believe the stories. Amnesiacs helped to remember their lives. The suicidal brought back from the brink of oblivion. The elderly afforded extra moments to say their goodbyes. How soon we forget when we're afraid. 
It's a fascinating science. A fascinating time to be alive in a place like Deerwood that does not control the research, no? I love the Valian Republics for many things, but their recent caution will leave them behind, I fear. I really love this backstory, this idea of souls and the mechanics of them and how they work in the Animancers. This is actually really, really cool. Um, what happened to you? It's pretty clear, but, you know, let's see. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> oh, come now. Such a question. As though the answer were plain as a rope tied for strangling. Allow an old dwarf her last bit of cheer. <laughs> Well, I came where I was needed, didn't I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance. A humble pittance. I was to examine the Lord's wife. See why the gods have seen fit to poison her womb. Studied her for months. Looked high and low for impurities. Tested her valence, the permeability of her essence. Do you know what I found? Tell me. Nothing at all. A healthy woman, head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman, too. Meek, but warm-hearted. A few months' time, and the lord of the house demanded answers. For a time, I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. I must have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do. And this is where I've ended up. Well, I think that's a good set of questions. Farewell. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. Ooh. You all right? You seemed lost just now. <sighs> How much do I trust Aloth? Do I say that I'm a watcher? Just, you know, brush it off. Yes, I'm fine. This happens a lot. You'll get used to it. Definitely not that last one. We can be totally stoic or totally sort of honest and open. I think for now, you know, we're trying to keep maybe personal details about ourselves a little bit low. I'm going to just say I'm fine. Oh, apparently I can't bypass it. It's good to know, but I don't suppose you can tell me what that was all about. I'm a watcher. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. I expect this has something to do with the hooded figures and ruins, hmm? A little bit. In any case, I appreciate your honesty. Since we're traveling together, it's probably wise for us to share these things. All right, well, do you know anything about Watchers? Only that they're rare, and they seem to have unique insights in certain soul conditions, as you just demonstrated. All right, let's uh, continue on. Me and my black hound and my friends. Okay, let's... Um... Oh, I don't know what you were just counting there. Let's uh, finish, just do a, a sweep of the village here. We'll go into this house here. Ooh, there's some more souls for me to read if I want. We're going to this house here, and then uh, we'll probably have to put a cut in, but we'll see what happens. Actually, I already know what happens in this house. I'm trying to act innocent. We've got Ofra and her cat. Hopefully our dog doesn't interact poorly. Hello. Dire wooden woman is standing in front of the fireplace, humming a quiet tune to herself, or perhaps to her unborn child, for she's clearly quite pregnant. She turns her head slightly as you enter. Greetings. Well, finally, I was starting to think... Oh, I'm sorry, I was expecting someone else. Can I help you? <laughs> nice cat. Um, I just arrived in Gilded Vale. I thought I'd get to know the locals. Were you with one of the caravans? <gasps> Master Odemas, by chance? Um, you knew Odema? Well, no more th than most here, I'd say. He doesn't usually come this way, but they say he's a reliable old fellow. Wait, why do you say new? I'm sorry, but the caravan was attacked. I was the only one to survive. Covers her mouth with a hand, her eyes wide with horror. For a few moments, she can manage nothing but a strangled, voiceless gasping, her eyes brimming with tears. I knew. I told her it was a dangerous path to take. Calissa was always so certain she could take on any danger. Oh, my poor sister. I'm sorry, stranger. I just I can't believe she's gone. If only I hadn't called her. If I hadn't written to her, she might still be alive somewhere. Her face crumbles. A solitary tear slides down her cheeks. Um, why did you send for her? Calissa mentioned she thought you needed help. Perhaps I can provide assistance. Quit your sniveling. <laughs> no. Is there anything I can do? 
You know what? Calissa mentioned that she thought you needed help. Perhaps I can provide some assistance. I mean, Calissa helped me. I owe her, and therefore by proxy, her sister. That's kind of you to offer, but I don't know if I could impose this on you. It's not a small favor. I'm, I'm worried about the baby, about the legacy. I told Calissa as much as I could, but I, all I know is that for a long time, every child born in the Gilded Vale has been soulless, empty. It's happened to so many mothers, and Lord Raedric, he's exiled all of them, calling it a sign of the gods' disfavor. With my Hathor gone, I don't know how I'd manage if I lost my home, too. I hope Calissa could help me. They say Ranga, the old midwife, knows a way to prevent a child being born hollowborn. But she moved south to Anslog's Compass two seasons ago. The journey's too far for me. I can't make it as I am, but I don't, ha don't have anyone else now with Calissa gone. Please, can you help me? So, it's worth noting, if I recall correctly, our new character is a kind wayfarer, but I think because I'm not a kind wayfarer, I can't choose this option, nor the Gold Pack Knight, so if you want to play a Paladin, a couple of good options there. I can say I can find her, it's good, a long way to go, what's in it for me? I'll think about it if I ever headed this way, I'm not for one for charity. No, I'll, I'll find Rango for you. You will? Oh, gods bless you. Here, I'll give you coin to pay her with. You needn't trouble yourself with that. I think it's a drink she fashions out of, well, I'm not sure, but it shouldn't be too much of a burden to carry back. The compass is what we call the lagoon to the south. You'll have to cross the wilds to get there. That's what's kept me, or that's what keeps me from trying myself. Thank you again, truly. You'll be saving us both. Okay, I don't suppose I can... Yeah, that would be theft for either one of them. Can I interact with the cat? Nope, not really. Okay, well, I'm not going to steal from Ofra, especially since she's actually watching. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have a new, a new little quest here. So we'll go ahead and pop out and back into the village, and we're going to put a cut in this episode. When we come back, we're going to keep uh, scouting around the town, see what else we can discover while we're here, and then uh, maybe there'll be some other quests that we can find, and uh, we'll probably head south to the Compass after that. We have to figure out, one, now that we've got a party, mostly level 3, although a Kutaran over here is still only level 2, we might want to see if we can take that bear. The problem is the bear hit for like 55 damage. Um, we actually have enough to maybe survive one more hit from a bear, but the bear is still like an awful, awful beast that we're going to have to be kind of concerned with, so may not be time to do that. There's also some stairs going down here that we'll want to check out at some point, but that will have to wait until next time. See you folks. Bye-bye.